Hi and welcome to Automa Tech's Watch and Learn series. Today we'll be talking about Prophecy Common licensing and how to perform an offline activation. I am your host, Franco Patron. Just a couple of quick points before we continue. You will need access to an online machine with the licensing software installed. You will need to be able to share files between both machines. Email, USB, copy, paste, or network share drives will work. Same process for returning a license, just in reverse. And when updating a license, it needs to be returned and then reactivated. So two different processes. We are going to start by going to the licensing client that's on the offline machine. This process will be the same for both the local license server and the license client. Because you're already offline, the licensing software detects it, so you only have one option to uh, activate your license. You're going to put in your access code. And up on top, it says save request file to a location. It has a generic file location. You can change it if needed. Put that somewhere safe so you can copy it and bring it to your online machine. Next, you're going to go to your online machine, paste that file somewhere where you can find it. Go to the step two, generate a, a response file for this online computer. And again, you can select where you'd like the file to be located. So I'm just going to throw it on the desktop. I'm going to select the request file. Generate file. And in this process, it will connect to the GE Cloud and verify that you do have a correct license. I just wanted to show the difference between each file. That has an extension dot response, and this has an extension dot request. Please don't mix them up. Only one will work for each part of the process. We're going to copy the response file. Now with that response file, we're going to go back over to the offline machine, bring it back onto the OS. Select the response file location. And once you activate the file, your license will be activated on the offline machine. If you're planning on returning a license, you do the same process, just in reverse. You generate the file, bring it to the online machine, and then bring it back, and that's how you return a license from an offline machine. And this concludes our Watch and Learn series video. If you have any more questions about this, please contact your sales rep or reach out to support at Thank you and have a wonderful day.